When you pose the question as far as you know the long term, that's I think that that's where we lose a lot of people because oh. like right now the market is good. You know, houses are, you know, there are multiple offers and houses are selling for top dollar. And so I think for some people that are into sales, that's very attractive because they're like, oh, I can go and get a quick dollar. For me, I've always looked at it as a career. So I've looked at um, reinforcing that foundation. It's not just about the money and, and sense for me. Now, don't oh, tell my husband that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, when, I think when you look at it more so than, well, what sale can I get? I don't, I don't do my um, business planning based on the money and cents part of it. I do it based on how many families am I going to help oh. this year. And I think that change in thought process is helpful to that longevity. When I first reached out to you, it was on social media, mm -hmm. and I asked you, um, can you, or are you familiar with um, using veterans using the VA loan twice or people using VA mm -hmm. loans twice? And you're like, sure, I can help you. And I was like, I'm going to her, like no doubt. <laughs> Well, and a huge part of that is also my team, um, because I, I, they make me look very successful. But like when you were asking as far as the VA loan, I feel as confident as I do. A huge part of that is because of Jenny Phillips. She's my preferred lender, um, and because of her knowledge and because of the service and 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 whatnot that she provides clients, that's helpful to me to be able to confidently say, "Oh yeah, absolutely, we can take care of you from you know start to finish." So. Yeah. Um, Miss Phillips, right? Yeah. She's amazing too. Yep. I see her on social media all the time. <laughs> And she's always, you guys are like two peas in a pie. <laughs> I was looking on. For sale by owners. Okay. Um, why don't they work like 90 to like 93% of the time I read? <laughs> I'm glad you said those statistics. Um, so I don't, so some agents are like, oh my gosh, I can't stand for sale by owners. The thing about for sale by owners, I respect them. You know, I, I am a, um, I love a good bargain. So I can appreciate from their standpoint, they're looking at, especially if they've ever owned a home or sold a home or purchased a home, you know, it's especially if you don't have a lot of major issues to the transaction, it's very easy to get confident in the fact that, well, I can do that too. A lot of people think, oh, well, um, on the buy side, they feel like, oh, well, there's Zillow and there's Trulia, I can find my own house. And you know what? You absolutely can. For one thing, is it actually available? Right, right. <laughs> That's the first thing. Um, but the other thing I, I, I um, explain to clients is that's one part of the process. There's so much that happens once you find the one that in one aspect can go wrong. Mm -hmm. And that's a, a, a huge part of where I have job security. <laughs> I don't like that. But there's so many different components that can go sideways in a deal. Um, so the fact that I can either prevent those issues from happening or when they do, I'm knowledgeable to know how to handle them properly and get us successfully to the closing table, that's what people employ me. It's not just for me to show them a property or it's not just to st stick a sign in a yard or put it on you know, social media. It's all the different things that can go wrong getting from point A to point Z. Um, so going back to your point as far as for sale by owners, I think a huge part of why they typically are not successful is because they're only looking at that one component. So let's say you you know you find your own buyer. Someone goes by the for sale by owner sign. They're interested in the house. The price makes sense. You get a deal. Our contract is now 13 plus pages, not counting addendums, and that grows every year because there are lawsuits. And I always tell people, you know, especially if it's a repeat client, and I'll say, well, the last time we met, it was maybe 10 pages. The reason that it's longer is because someone sued somebody, mm. and we now need to get it in writing. Wow. <laughs> um, so, so that's so, statewide. I'm sorry, that's statewide. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I mean, there are different contracts out there, but I mean, in general, you know, they're extensive because there was probably someone that either got sued or there was a, you know, so misunderstanding. So it becomes a law. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Um, and so that is, that I think is probably the biggest thing. Um, I actually just recently listed a property over in Riverside and um, she was referred to me um, actually from a, a, a real estate professional who's gotten out of the business and said, you know, I want to refer business to you so thank nice. you um, but in speaking to the seller you know I, I, I said well you know like to get to know you and the property and she had tried doing for sale by owner for one week and she said it's too hard yeah. <laughs> I can't do it you, you know and you she had really investors who come by or call you yep well my other property I know you helped me with that and right. of course I had it for sale by owner yeah thinking that I could do it myself and all and these investors hard, isn't it? yeah all these investors <laughs> would call or come by right. and I was like no 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 I guess back in the olden days, it probably mm -hmm. worked a lot better. Yeah. But yeah. now. Well, and I think too, 
anytime I sit with a, whether it's a buyer or a seller, I always want to figure out a strategy. You know, I want to first and foremost figure out, okay, what is your end goal? What are you looking to do? You know, obviously on the seller side, they're looking to sell. Maybe they're looking to downsize. Maybe they're looking, you know, the family has grown. Maybe they're relocating out of the area. Whatever the case is, what is your goal? You know, and I want to figure out the best strategy to get you to that point. On the buy side, maybe it's a first time home buyer, you know, they want to own a home versus renting and, you know, wasting money in that regard. Or maybe it's a family, you know, they have a family home and it's just too big.